So these are few uh, settings related to uh, activities. So now we will see um, the set preferences per uh, users. So, so every everybody, right? So individuals, they will have their own preferences, right? So somebody doesn't like uh, one view, but they will, they are interested to uh, see another view. So uh, to, to, to set that, uh, Oracle provides this set preference at user level. So using this preferences, we can uh, we can modify the uh, 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 user preferences according to them. So suppose uh, you have a few sections, general preferences applies for all modules, financial cloud only for financials, service for service module, knowledge for knowledge module, sales cloud for sales, CX sales. So we'll go through uh, one by one general preferences where you have, uh, where you can choose your country, date format, which date format you are going to, you, you will prefer. So based on this, all the date or date time fields in the application will display and time format and number format. So this is applicable for uh, any currency amounts, etc. And this is the default currency and the default time zone. So based on that, uh, whenever you create record, so these values, might apply automatically based because you are already preferred uh, these values. Then language you can prefer. Uh, so by default, it will be American English. It supports multiple languages. Uh, then, um, so you can choose current session language. You can choose the display name, right? So uh, which language? So all different options we have. So based on the preferences, we will choose. Then you have my photo where you can upload your photo. So we have some photo here, right? On profile of icon. So you can change the photo. You can upload new photo and, uh, or you can delete the existing one. Then you have accessibility settings. Uh, like the default mode, uh, screen reading mode, and color contrast uh, of the application. So if you want to reset your password, so you can uh, you can enter here. You can you can put your uh, current password and new password, and you can reset. If you have some proxies, uh, uh, like on behalf of you, someone needs to access your uh, application. So then you can add that uh, another proxy user. You can, they will be able to access with a specific date range. Maybe if you are on a out of office, so on behalf of you, you can give it your access to someone using this proxies method. Watch list, just to note a few items how we can uh, here basically um, watch list comes. This is the watch list. So what and all it should show in this watch list so that we can configure here. Then coming to sales cloud, we have calendar appointment preferences. So uh, the first task or first thing should be enabled in profile options. We have seen some profile options for op uh, appointments or activities, right? So that should be enabled first. And then based on your preferences, the notifications will come. Suppose you don't want uh, uh, notifications for appointments, you can uncheck all this. You will not get any uh, up notifications or emails. Okay. So if you want uh, the changes, uh, if you don't want the changes made by you, as a, a notification, right? Then you can just uncheck this. So then you will not receive unnecessary notifications. And reminders, if you want to remind the appointment one hour before, you can choose that. Email, 
uh, not, no, notification list. Uh, this is bell notification. So then you can choose the reminder notification type. Same way for tasks, you can uh, you can prefer the notifications uh, settings. And calendar view. So by default, we, we have uh, three, uh, four types of uh, calendar views, right? List view, month view, week view, day view. So you can default uh, your calendar view based on your preference. The start time of calendar, uh, suppose, uh, right? So uh, suppose your work time starts from eight. So you can choose the uh, eight or 10 or nine, something like that. Default calendar start day. So you can choose the uh, whether it's Sunday or Monday. So if you want to share your calendar with uh, uh, your team members or other team members, then you can add a resource here. You can add that another team member so that they will get access to your uh, activities or your calendar. Then some, some Microsoft Outlook related uh, preferences you have uh, just to download. And uh, then finally you have uh, sales preferences. This is mostly for lead and opportunity. Okay, opportunity. So here you can choose uh, opportunities, the default uh, search criteria, right? Will be my opportunities or what? The revenue items, my revenue line items. Quarter, close period. So you can choose current quarter as a close period. So, so this is uh, about uh, the set preferences in Oracle Fusion Cloud.